Um, some things that I do like about this watch so far, you could... Oh buddy, oh buddy, oh buddy. All right, so I got sent this watch and these headphones from a company called Mobvoi. They, yeah, just sent me this stuff so that I could kind of review it, see how I like it. I'm not one for smart watches. I don't have a smart watch. I've never tried out a smart watch. I just never thought I'd need one. Um, but they sent this to me, so I'm gonna try this out for about a week and kind of document every day and see how I like it through through this week. Yeah, you guys could kind of follow along. So the box says it has speaker and mic support. You could pay on the go with Google Pay, Google Assist, powerful GPS built in, a thousand plus watch faces on Google Play. It is Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear, 4100 platform, 2.5D curved display, IP68 and swim suitable. That's dope, that's really dope. It is uh, waterproof. So if you wanna go, you know, backstroking and front stroke, doggy paddle, Matt, you're good to go with this thing. You name it! 20 plus professional workout modes with tick motion technology, 24 seven HD heart rate, blood oxygen, saturation monitoring, stress and sleep tracking. Dude, that's nuts. VO2 max tracking during runs. Well, that's dope. Okay, funny story, my uh, uncle was actually has a smartwatch and he was like partying for a couple days and his monitor watch was like monitoring how much sleep he was getting and he was like looking back on it and he's like man i only got like half hours sleep this night or two hours this night and that's just crazy because i was always wondering about that and how that works and this thing does that 24 hours heart rate blood oxygen saturation monitoring i don't even know exactly what that is but we're gonna find out together through this week stress and sleep tracking VO2 max tracking during runs. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I'm not a big runner, but I do go to the gym. So I'm gonna check this thing out while I'm at the gym, see how you know it affects like my heart rate, things like that. That's what I'm most excited for. And kind of just like seeing how this works through Apple because I do have an iPhone. I guess I should kind of tell you what it's called. It's the TickWatch E3, Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear, 4100 platform, one gigabytes of RAM, and eight gigabytes of ROM. So what we got in the box here, we got a nice little charger for it, and these fancy little drawings that the watch is kind of in, in this cardboard, which is a nice little touch to it. You got your quick guide, your safety, blah, 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 and don't eat this thing. I wonder how um, interchangeable the straps are, because I have this old strap from like my old uh, watch, I wonder if I could interchange that. Or the black might look better and it's like silicone almost, like a rubber texture. How about let's try this thing on, eh? See how it looks here first. Oh, wow, fancy. Oh, you think you fancy, huh? Technical difficulties, bear with us. Peel that off. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's dope. It seems really well responsive, like very responsive. To be honest, I was going into this um, not expecting too much just because I never really had an Apple Watch or a smart watch, any kind of watch like that. So I wasn't going in there expecting much, but even already, I'm actually like pretty stoked for this week. Okay, let's just say I read all that. Oh, okay, so on your phone, you want to download the iOS. Okay, moment of truth here. Let's see how my iPhone is going to work with this thing. Well, let's see how you do this here first. A few moments later. Oh, wow, sweet. It's just as easy as downloading an app. Bummer, only two stars though. I guess we'll see. Um, first impressions just from like holding it on my arm already and trying it on. The build quality feels really nice. It's like, doesn't feel really heavy or anything. Um, it actually feels quite light. Um, it's a bit larger than I kind of expected. I felt like it would be a bit smaller. Um, that's not a deal breaker for me. That feels really good actually. App is downloaded, let's check it out. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I, um, like I have my Gmail account set up through my whole YouTube stuff. So that's like going set up through this whole watch too, which is really sweet that it does that. 
It's gonna be weird sleeping with this at night, but uh, you know what's really weird? I literally just lost my watch, like my other watch, but I literally just lost it and I can't find it. I lost it maybe a couple days ago and they send me this, so it's like, I don't know, stars align and something. With any kind of tech though, you kind of usually have to do this kind of stuff, like, you know, wait for this, wait for updates, all that kind of stuff. When I got the PS5, that thing took forever. Yo, they also sent me these headphones. I'm gonna be doing a, like a little review about these two. Um, I do have AirPods, but I'm gonna just see how these are. Like I'm gonna use them for a couple days, see how I like them. Yeah, I don't see these replacing my AirPods, but I would like to see like the comparison of like how much these cost and all that. So stay tuned for this one. <laughs> like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and you, so you don't miss that one. Oh buddy, we are, we're all set, all set. Okay, right out the gate, the um, the app, it's like you could set a 20 second hand wash timer. That's like the first thing. Install Google Fit. Um, man, I think we better, we might as well do it all if we're uh, really gonna see the full potential of this watch. Choose your tiles. What are tiles? Okay, you could add stuff. Next event. Forecast, definitely want that. Timer, clock, breathe, Google Fit, I want that. So you can change what like the face looks like. Kinda like that, it's pretty, oh there's more of them. Wow. See look at that, that's like legit, just simple. Oh, I wonder if you could put it so it's like always on. Okay, so that's cool, you hold that and you pretty well, it's like Surrey, but like the Google one. Oh, look at it, just, it was just copying everything I was saying. Okay, this is gonna take me a long time to kind of get used to. Legit. Well, that, um, wow, that is, passes the test. I'd, I'm really excited to see how the battery life is on this thing, if I'm gonna be wearing it most of the time, or I'd usually like to charge things at night, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing goes. Yeah, I guess we will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, my first impressions though, before I go, I'm actually really excited about this thing. It's uh, it's it's weird because uh, I never thought I'd get a smartwatch. I gotta admit, like first impressions, pretty dope. But uh, yeah, we'll kind of see how the, the week goes, how it feels on my wrist all the time. And yeah, we'll see. Okay, anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, good morning. So I've still got the watch, obviously. Um, and I switched the straps over, really easy to switch over. It's just, you just gotta pull this little tab here, this little metal tab. But anyways, I was uh, like playing with this watch, seriously, from the time I left till the time I pretty well went to bed. I We even went for a drive to Walmart and I was just messing around with it, downloading like things. I wish I would have wore this thing when I went to bed, but I seriously was playing on it so much that it died. Like it was, well, it didn't die. It was at a, like 15% and I didn't want it to die throughout the night. So I charged it. I'm gonna wear it actually tonight for sleeping. And then I could kind of see all the sleeping statistics for that um, tonight. But uh, I'm gonna go have a workout and see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, peeps out there looking to buy this watch. If you are interested in this watch, uh, I really hope you watch this thing through like from the beginning to the end because like I'm going through every detail that I possibly can, everything that I like, everything, pretty well the things that I don't like too. That's gonna be a lot more tomorrow, the things that I'm kind of not liking about it. So stay tuned for that. I seriously forgot all my stuff. I didn't even bring any of my workout clothes. Not cool Kool-Aid, but I'm gonna rally home. Yeah, I think I'll just catch you guys tomorrow and I'm gonna hit the gym bright and early. Uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, peace.
let's try this again, shall we? Damn, yesterday I uh, tried to go to the gym, forgot all my stuff. Yeah, I couldn't even work out, so I didn't get uh, too much going with that. But I did wear this through the night. It tracked my sleep, and I also ended up having a nap. And I was wondering about this thing because I wasn't sure if I had to download an app or anything, but I guess there's already a sleep app in there that when I first opened this thing up, I went through it all. But it tracked my nap yesterday which is dope as hell love that because yeah the night before my my son was just being wild and being loud through the night so uh i had a really bad sleep so i was so tired yesterday it's long story short i it i ended up having an app and it shows like which is so sweet about it is it shows your rem sleep if you you like light sleeping or heavy sleeping or even if you woke up for like a couple minutes and it shows all that because like that's actually what happened I kind of was sleeping, but like light sleeping, which is kind of weird that it does all that. And I really like that it does that because uh, I always wonder how my sleep is. Like, I feel like I'm, I I have a bad sleep most of the night. And even last night, it kind of uh, showed that. Uh, let's head to the gym and uh, let's read. Let's try this thing out in the gym. Also, I just put out a vlog that I'm really stoked on. It's one of the more fun vlogs I've gotten to make. And I kind of just did it really different than a lot of my other vlogs. I put in like a review in there and even like a sit down kind of commentary thing. So go check that out. Um, it was one of the more fun vlogs that I've gotten to make. So uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that one. So uh, go check that out. I'll leave it linked up top here. <laughs> Okay, so I am all showered up, had some breakfast, and I think I'm ready to talk about this watch a little bit more. Um, I know everything kind of looks a bit different, it's because we're moving, and yeah, just pretty well this whole room's like empty. Um, but yeah, I just kind of moved things around since we're packing up. Anyways, let's uh, get into this watch. Um, the customizability is through the roof. There's so many things you could customize with this thing. Um, you know, I switched out the strap. Um, I actually switched it back though. Uh, the back screen is, you can interchange it to pretty well anything you want. Everything from like a picture that you have on your phone to a bunch of like customized ones that are on free for download. There's also some paid ones that you could actually get for them too. Another really big thing with this watch that I noticed I am not on my phone as much. Let me explain kind of why I'm not on my phone, but every time I get a notification on my phone, I'll usually pick my phone up and then I'm like scrolling through YouTube after I check that notification or something. But with this watch, a notification comes through. I just check my watch, see what it is, see what it says. If it's a text, I'll reply back. But if it's something else, I pretty well just leave my phone. And this way I'm not constantly like on my phone. Being able to take down screen time on your phone if you're always on your phone is like a huge thing. Well, for me at least, just so you know, you could you could actually get other things done. So there's a lot of apps that you could actually download that are made specifically for this watch on the Google Play Store. And there's actually like a zombie game that I downloaded too. I'm gonna mess around with these and see exactly how they are and kind of like show you a bit more at the very end at the like the last day of the full week I've had this watch. So um, yeah, stick around for that. So this watch is extremely user friendly, which is a huge bonus because for some people, you just wanna throw the watch on and kinda go, you don't wanna have to be like, okay, how do I do this or how do I do that? 
it's pretty user friendly in the way of like you jump in you it pretty well tells you exactly what to do like download an app and you kind of go through all those steps super user friendly which is always a plus for me in any of my tech videos as you'll know i love things that you could kind of jump into without too much like not too hard to figure out one of my favorite things about this watch is the find my iphone app thing like built into the system you press the button and it'll make your phone ring which is such a huge bonus because like a lot of the times i'll draw out my phone in the couch and i'm like oh i gotta look through this whole couch can't find it or even like if i leave the house and i forget my phone you know i drive back to the house i'm like oh i gotta grab my phone i just press this and it'll ring and then i could find my phone right away so that's an extreme, like one of the biggest things I love about this watch. Um, I know that's a small detail for some people, but for me, when you're like in a rush trying to do a lot of things, you don't want to be having to look for your phone at all times. And this is like a huge time saver. So I have been tracking my sleep every night and it's kind of crazy that it really shows everything. It shows your REM sleep, your light sleep, your deep sleep when you wake up. And especially with my son sleeping in our room with us, like you, I'd find that I wake up every, I don't know, once in a while, but the uh, thing with that is I kind of was always wondering about my sleep and this really helps me keep track of exactly how, how I'm doing with my sleep. And yeah, that's just kind of annoying when uh, you feel like you had a bad sleep, but you're like, oh, maybe, I don't know. I feel like I slept good, but you don't know. And this way you like 100% know, you're like, okay, I was only slept this amount of hours or, and I didn't have a good deep sleep or whatever. Okay, I don't know if it's just because I'm like really like getting old or what, but I am always checking the weather on my phone. Like with this watch, I think that's another reason why I'm not constantly on my phone again is because I have the weather right here and it's just one swipe to the right. I set it up that way. So it's one swipe to the right and I could just scroll down, see what the weather's going to be like tomorrow or in an hour. Or It's really helpful and I don't, I find, uh, that I've been using this watch way more than I thought I'd be, like a lot more. I also set it up for every hour, it'll check my blood oxygen levels, which is really good because there's been a lot of fires around this, like here in BC lately, especially around the Kelowna area. So like it does t tell you like how much, how well your oxygen levels are and which is really good due to like, I was thinking it was a lot worse just because of all the smoke around here, but it hasn't been that bad. Also, this watch is very responsive. Like, you know, you could swipe and then it, it moves like fast. Just like the response time is really, it's fast. That's pretty well all I could say. Like you want something that's not lagging or anything like that. And this is not, this hasn't done that. There was one time that it all of a sudden kind of froze, but I don't know if that was because I've been wearing this in the shower. Like, and I don't know if that was like how to problem with it or what, but, uh, but that was like one kind of, Thing. I was like, uh oh, what's going on? The touchscreen just wasn't working. But I just turned it off, turned it back on, and it was good to go. Um, but yeah, the waterproof thing, it does work. I have been using it constantly. And uh, yeah, it's been because like, I've been using it in the shower. I haven't went swimming with it or anything, but it does work. There's still tons of things about this watch that I am going to go over. I think I'm going to wait though till the end just to so i really get to experience all of it in these next couple more days um, i'm sure you don't want to be following me around for these next couple days so how about i just come back yeah how about let's just we'll see you then and then i could kind of mess around with a bit more and yeah i want to talk a bit more about a lot of things so stick around for that it'll yeah we'll see you then um okay see you in a couple days <laughs> Okay, so it is a new day. It's been a couple days and yeah, let's uh, go through this final verdict. I definitely learned um, a decent amount more about this product just uh, from sitting with it for the, those couple more days. Um, I did go over the that zombie game I was telling you about. It's all right. <laughs> it's nothing to uh, write home about. But uh, for having games on an actual like watch, pretty dope, gotta say. Um, the biggest thing though I wanna talk about pretty well is the fact I never thought I'd ever want one of these. Like I've never, I never thought I'd want um, one of these at all. Like I never thought I'd want a smartwatch. And now that I have it, I'm gonna be wearing this like all the time. 
like all the time i really do love this thing um there was a few like hiccups i had where i said it before it kind of just stopped it actually happened again but i just turned it off turned it back on uh, i don't know why that happened um i don't know i've been kind of putting this thing through the ringer though like i bring it to work you could see there's uh actually still paint on it i actually have a painting company so that's where i make like all my money and stuff for all my gear whatever yeah so my main thing is paintings and i've been spraying with this thing it's gotten very dirty but also one of my clients asked me to just help them like do some gardening work so i did that and it got super dusty still work the whole time um this thing i really did put it through the ringer shower with it every day i wear it at night constantly it's been through a lot already in just a week and it's still kicking still doing everything it does so i uh i gotta give uh gotta give it up for this thing This 100% will replace my other watch that I had. Again, it was just a normal watch. It was no kind of smart watch, um, even though I lost it. But this will be replacing that 100%. I'm going to be using this constantly. I find it so uh, convenient. It helps me reduce my screen time, like I said. And that's one of the biggest things I love about this thing also. Um, I've really been able to improve my health and you know track my activity. I've been tracking all of my workouts. Being able to track my workouts is a huge thing. I um, never, I didn't know I was burning as many calories as I was. So how it works is you press start as soon as you get there and it monitors your heart rate through the whole time and like your movements, your steps, what you're doing, you could switch it to what I put it on is uh, weightlifting strength training because that's pretty well all I do at the gym is just kind of lift weights. I don't do too much cardio, just a bit at the end, but not much. So that's kind of uh, what I put in there and it shows how like where, where my heart rate elevates the most at what time, when it slows down and how many calories I'm burning, how many steps I take there and everything from pretty well everything. It, it, really calculates and keeps track of everything and that's what i like about this thing with my sleep and my fitness stuff it really is uh helping me kind of elevate it to the next level being able to really take control when my workouts are and how they are also the timer on here is it's bomb i love it so clutch like i use it a lot more than i think i would especially with my laundry because i forget my laundry in the wash constantly i'll just be like oh better throw a timer on and i throw it on for like an hour and then go back i can check it or even like making food or whatever i use it a lot the one thing that's kind of annoying though is you actually need to have three apps downloaded um so you have like the wear os app the mob boy and then you have the google fit app and those are all three apps on your phone that uh you have to have downloaded to do a lot of these other things which is not like the biggest deal, but it's just kind of annoying if they could, it would be great if there was just one app downloaded, everything's right there and you're good to go. Let's say somebody's not on your sleep schedule and like I sleep in the same room with my girlfriend and my son and he's just a baby. So like if I, when I was using my phone before my alarm would go off. Yeah, I don't really want to wake him up. But with this, all it does is vibrates on your arm and it's really amazing like it works really well it wakes me up every time and like i don't wake them up which is great because then like it's just a huge plus if you're on a different sleep schedule than somebody else and you have to be up early for work or whatever you do so yeah that's another reason why i'm going to be using this thing constantly oh the charge time the charge time um i find it is really great so with this thing i find i only charge it from like over an hour maybe two hours and it's like fully charged from like pretty well almost dead i only let it get to around 15 to 10 percent and then i throw it on the charger and the charger like i showed before it's super fast to just click in you're good to go you just click it in and charge it up um yeah so the charge time is great i really uh <clears throat> i find i don't have to charge it that much and it does last through the night 
pretty well all through the day also you don't want to have to be charging one extra thing all the time it's kind of annoying especially when you got a phone or you know your ipad your ipad your airpods whatever you have but this thing is pretty pretty good when it comes to like battery life i haven't had to charge it too much but there also are a lot of modes on here where you could do uh, power save mode stuff like that um okay price point maybe let's check out the price point i actually don't know what the price is on this thing tick watch e3 panther black you're looking at 250 or you could do installments six installments with zero interest come on man get out of town that's a steal 250 bones that's canadian that's um a pretty good price for something that did, does this much and improves my productivity reduces my screen time helps me wake up in the morning it's yeah it tracks so much for you like i said before there are a few apps on the google play store that you could kind of go through and mess around i don't i didn't download every single one obviously pretty busy this week but um i am making time for making these videos so i hope you guys like subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you like this review just definitely leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want to know about this watch because uh yeah i'm having a lot of fun with this watch so i'm uh definitely thinking about maybe putting out another one in about a couple weeks or something let you know the new things i've found out about it anyways i will uh, catch you in the next video thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one peace Bye.